Hello and welcome to part 6 of this tutorial on how to create a full stack website using MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. In this part we'll test our blog routes in Postman and get Redux set up to start working on app level state. So let's get started. Inside of Postman, I'll create a blog collection. The first request we create will be a post request at slash API slash blog. The description is create a blog post. Copy the URL from the get request inside our user collection. I'll use that for our create blog request, but switch it from API slash user to API slash blog. Switch the request type to post. This route is admin protected, so we'll need to pass in our bearer token. In the authorization tab, switch the type to bearer token. I'll copy the token I got back earlier when I logged in as an admin and paste that into the token field. Now send the request. And if everything is successful, we get a template blog created. Create another request. This will be a put request at slash API slash blog slash colon ID. The description is edit a blog post. I'll copy the URL from our post request and use that for editing a blog. I'll create another request before finishing this one. It will be a git request at slash API slash blog. The description is to get all blog posts. This one is simple. All we need is the URL. Then we can send our request and get all created blogs inside an array. I need the underscore ID for this blog so we can finish the put request. I'll copy that and use it as the ID param for our route. In the authorization tab, we need to pass in the bearer token since this route is for admins only. In the body, I'll set up some random content just to test that we can update a blog. Now make sure you switch the request type from get to put, then send the request. And you should get back the updated blog as some JSON. I'll send the post request again to create another template blog. And if I resend the get all blogs requests, we now have two blogs. I'll add another request to the collection. This will be a delete request at slash API slash blog slash colon ID. The description is to delete a blog post. Switch the request type to delete. Copy the URL from our put request and use that for deleting a blog. I'll send our get all blogs request to get the ID of the template post I created. Pass that in for our delete route. In the authorization tab, pass in our bearer token. And if we send the request, we've deleted that post. And we should get back a message with blog removed. I'll add another request to the collection. This will be a get request at slash API slash blog slash colon ID. The description is it will get an individual blog's details. Copy the URL from our put request. And if we hit send, we should get back the post relating to the ID we passed in. We're done with these tests. All of our backend routes are working. Now I'll create two more blogs with our post request. Send the get all blogs request to get their IDs. 
I'll copy the first one, then paste that in as the ID param for our update blog request. You can find this image URL in a file at our public Google Drive folder. The link to that is in the description. Later we'll use Molter to upload images to our Mongo database, but I want to show both ways of doing it. You can link images through the web like right here, but also locally, which is what we'll do with Molter. I'll paste in some lorem ipsum for the content and also the description. You'll find all of this in the same file on our Google Drive. You could also go to lipsum.com to get this text. Send the request and we've updated that blog. I'll use the same content for our second and third posts. So copy the ID for the second. Send the update request. And do the same thing for the third. Now we're done in Postman, so head over to Visual Studio. We need to start working on our Redux store. Inside of the front end source file, I'll create another folder named Store. Inside of Store, I'll create an Actions folder, a Constants folder, and a Reducers folder. Also create an index.js file, and that's where we'll start. We need a few imports, so import create store and apply middleware from Redux. Compose with DevTools from Redux DevTools extension. Thunk from Redux Thunk. And import root reducer from our reducers folder. We want to see if we have any state information stored in local storage, which is basically browser memory. We'll be storing our user info in local storage to maintain login sessions once a user signs in. Start by creating a constant called user info from storage and set that to local storage.getItem. We'll pass in user info, which is what we'll be looking for. We'll run a ternary check, so if we find that item in local storage, then we want to run json.parse to convert it to proper JSON. In the parentheses, pass in local storage.getItem with user info as the param. Now create an initial state constant and set that to an object. Here we'll set user login to an object with user info from storage. Now create a middleware constant and set that to an array with thunk as the only entry. We don't need any other middleware at this point. Create a store constant and set that to create store. Pass in root reducer as the first param. Initial state as the second. And compose with DevTools as the third. Compose with DevTools takes in apply middleware. And for apply middleware, we'll use the spread operator to pass in the contents of our middleware array. We're done, but I actually spelled user login wrong, so before we continue, I'll fix that. Now switch over to our app.js file. 
import provider from React Redux. and store from store. We need to encase our app in the provider component for our Redux store to work. So wrap browser router in the provider component. Pass in a store prop to provider and set it to the store constant we imported. In the store reducers folder, create an index.js file. Import combine reducers from Redux. I'll create a comment where we'll import our reducers later. Now set the default export to the combine reducers function and pass in an object. We'll continue making our constants, reducers, and actions in the next video. For now, that's it. Thanks for watching.